BC Radio Brisbane with Rebecca Levingston. 25 minutes to 11, Brisbane. Put your best studs on. We've got a first time VIP visitor in town today. The US Consul General, brand new Christine Elder new to the role, based in Sydney. Not only is this her first Queensland interview, it's her first official visit to the Sunshine State. It's my first time to Brisbane, my first time to Queensland. Uh, I got to Australia about seven weeks weeks ago, and um, I'll be covering for the United States, both New South Wales and Queensland, and was looking at um, timing for the trip. And I, I saw that there were a number of official events commemorating the Battle of the Coral Sea this weekend, and that seemed like the ideal time to come. So I'm, I'm so pleased and honored that the Premier and the Governor and the Lord Mayor could make time for me today, and, uh, and I'll be seeing uh, many of them and, and others uh, throughout the trip. Yeah, well, of course, I mean, the US as an ally, as a friend, you're so crucial to so many of the, uh, the discussions we're having in particular in relation to, uh, you know, the international geographical uh, environment. What is the role of the US Consul General, Christine? We have actually three uh, consulates across uh, Australia, in addition to um, our embassy uh, presence, of course, in the capital in Canberra. And it's a little different in each one. I would say for me here in New South Wales and Queensland, uh, we've got tremendous opportunities, particularly on the trade front. Uh, we certainly do. We'll be talking about national security over the next couple of days, reminding ourselves, um, you know, 80 years ago with the Battle of the Coral Sea was one of the key pivotal points in the not only the turning of, of World War II, but also of our bilateral partnership in that regard, particularly in national security, which is very much on people's minds uh, these days. But I think in terms of my role is to see where I can deepen um, and advance U.S. relations in Queensland more broadly, as well as New South Wales. And, um, and that is not just in the trade and, and national security areas, but in education. We've got tremendous partnerships with universities here, research, exchanges of students, which thank God are, are restarting. Again, I know everybody's very much been looking forward um, to that. And what we enjoy working on is alliances and building those alliances. I spent a lot of time on the transatlantic side and looking at the transatlantic alliance, but I think never has it been more important, the alliance that we have with Australia and in the Indo-Pacific. So it's a great time uh, to be honored and privileged to work on that here in Australia. There's a lot going on. Um, I think, you know, really we're rethinking where we are in the Indo-Pacific and how we and other partners um, can really improve and enhance and deepen that that cooperation. Yeah, well, the AUKUS arrangement, of course, announced earlier this year has also been a key factor in that. So what's... That we certainly uh, pause to reflect on uh, the horrors of war and conflict um, with the Coral Sea commemoration. So do you, what's happening there in terms of your activities, Christine? Thank you. Um, you know, we've got, um, there are a number of activities, particularly here on the on the east uh, coast of, of Australia, and there are a number of events that, uh, you know, they're sadly increasingly few veterans and, and uh, people from that era who take part, but it's an opportunity both to honor them and their sacrifice um, as individuals. It's very important to the United States. This was a, a pivotal battle, but one where all sides lost far too many people. Um, but it also sort of re, you know, gave us a foundation for working together in, in the future. And so we've also got a, a number of, of uh, senior military representatives coming to really underscore the importance to the United States of not only this battle, but the relationship um, behind it. So we're pleased to be here and to represent the United States. 